Throughout history, mankind has devised some truly horrifying punishments. These methods, often born out of a desire for justice, deterrence, or sheer cruelty, inflicted unimaginable pain on their victims. 1. Burned at the Stake This method was used extensively during the medieval and early modern periods, particularly in Europe, to punish heretics and those accused of witchcraft. Notably, Joan of Arc was executed this way in 1431. The victim was tied to a large wooden stake, surrounded by kindling and wood, and set on fire. Severe burns, asphyxiation from smoke inhalation, and death. The intense heat causes rapid dehydration and burning of skin, muscles, and internal organs, leading to excruciating pain and eventual loss of consciousness before death. 2. The Rack Commonly used in medieval Europe to extract confessions or punish offenders, the victim was laid on a wooden frame and their ankles and wrists were bound to rollers at each end. The rollers were turned, gradually stretching the victim's body. Joint dislocation, torn ligaments, muscles and tendons, extreme pain, and long-term physical damage. Prolonged stretching could lead to paralysis or death from shock. 3. Crucifixion Used by ancient civilizations, most famously by the Romans, as a method of execution for slaves, pirates, and enemies of the state. Victims were nailed or tied to a large wooden cross and left to hang until death. Severe pain from nails driven through the hands and feet, difficulty breathing, and eventual death from asphyxiation, shock, or heart failure. The position makes it incredibly painful to breathe, leading to gradual suffocation. 4. Flogging Practiced in many cultures throughout history, including ancient Rome and medieval Europe, as a form of corporal punishment. The victim was whipped with a lash, rod, or other implement often on the back. Severe lacerations, blood loss, risk of infection, long-lasting scars, and psychological trauma. Repeated flogging could result in permanent tissue damage and disability. 5. Ling Qi, death by a thousand cuts. Practiced in China from the 10th century until it was outlawed in 1905, the condemned person was tied to a wooden frame and small pieces of their flesh were systematically cut off extreme pain, severe blood loss, shock, and psychological terror from prolonged mutilation. Death often came slowly, either from blood loss or infection. 6. Guillotine Invented during the French Revolution as a more humane method of execution, the condemned was placed on a platform with their neck positioned under a heavy, angled blade which was then released to swiftly decapitate them. Immediate death due to decapitation. The execution is quick, with minimal physical suffering, although the psychological trauma leading up to it was significant. 7. Stoning An ancient form of capital punishment used in various cultures, including biblical times and some Islamic legal systems. The condemned person was buried up to their chest or tied, and then pelted with stones by a crowd until they died. Blunt force trauma causing fractures, internal injuries, and severe pain. Death was typically slow and excruciating, resulting from cumulative injuries and blood loss. 8. Boiling Alive Used in medieval Europe and Asia for severe crimes such as poisoning, the condemned was placed in a large cauldron of water, oil, or tar, which was then gradually heated to boiling. Severe burns, intense pain, and death from shock or organ failure due to thermal injury Boiling causes immediate and intense destruction of skin and muscle tissues. 9. Impalement Infamously used by Vlad the Impaler in 15th century Wallachia. A sharp stake was inserted into the victim's body, typically through the rectum or vagina, and then lifted upright, allowing the victim's body to slowly slide down the stake. Severe internal injuries, intense pain, and a slow death from blood loss, infection, or shock. Victims could survive for hours or even days. 10. Iron Maiden Alleged to have been used in medieval Europe, though its historical use is debated. 
The victim was placed inside an iron cabinet with spikes on the interior surfaces that would pierce the body when the door was closed. Multiple puncture wounds leading to severe pain, blood loss, and potential death from infection or shock. 11. Breaking Wheel, Catherine Wheel used in medieval Europe for executing severe criminals. The condemned was tied to a large wheel and their limbs were smashed with a hammer or iron bar. The wheel was then raised onto a pole, displaying the victim. Extreme pain from fractured bones, internal bleeding, and prolonged suffering. Death often resulted from shock, exposure, or blood loss. 12. Brazen Bull Invented in ancient Greece by Pereos of Athens, the condemned was placed inside a hollow bronze bull, which was then heated from beneath until the person was roasted to death. Extreme heat causes burns, asphyxiation from inhaling hot air and smoke, and a slow, agonizing death. The victim's screams were said to mimic the bull's bellowing. 13. Drawing and Quartering Used in medieval England for high treason. The condemned was hanged until nearly dead, then disemboweled and castrated while still alive. Finally, their body was divided into four parts, excruciating pain from hanging, disembowelment, and dismemberment. Death typically resulted from blood loss or shock. 14. Judas Cradle Used during the Spanish Inquisition The victim was placed on a triangular-shaped wooden device with the point inserted into the anus or vagina, and weights were added to their legs. Severe trauma to the rectum or vagina, intense pain, risk of infection, and long-term internal damage. 15. Rat torture, used in various historical contexts, including by the Dutch and during the Spanish Inquisition. A rat was placed in a container on the victim's stomach, and the container was heated. The rat, in an attempt to escape, would burrow into the victim's flesh. Severe internal injuries from the rat's burrowing, intense pain, and potential death from infection or shock. 16. Flaying, practiced in ancient Assyria and other cultures as a form of extreme punishment. Procedure. The skin of the condemned was removed, usually starting from the extremities. Effects. Extreme pain from nerve exposure shock, and death from blood loss or infection. The process was excruciatingly slow and torturous. 17. Hanging, drawing, and quartering. Medieval England for high treason. The condemned was hanged until nearly dead, disemboweled and castrated while still alive, then quartered. Excruciating pain from hanging and disembowelment, leading to death from blood loss or shock. 18. Spanish tickler, cat's paw used during the Spanish Inquisition. The device was used to tear and rip the flesh of the victim, typically on the limbs and torso. Severe lacerations, intense pain, and risk of infection or death from blood loss. 19. Scaphism. Ancient Persia, used for extreme punishment. The condemned was placed between two boats, force-fed milk and honey, and left exposed to insects and the elements. Severe pain from insect bites, infection, dehydration, and slow death from exposure and septic shock. 20. Keel hauling. Used by naval forces, notably pirates, as a severe punishment. The victim was tied to a rope and dragged under the ship's hull, scraping against barnacles and the ship's rough surface. Severe lacerations from barnacles, risk of drowning, and potential long-term infection. 21. Wooden horse used in medieval Japan and Europe as a form of punishment. The victim was made to sit on a sharp, angled wooden board, often with weights attached to their feet. Severe pain, deep cuts, and potential long-term damage to the groin area. 22. Thumb screws. Used in medieval Europe to extract confessions, a device that crushed the victim's thumbs or fingers. Extreme pain, crushed bones, and permanent disfigurement. 23. Strapado. Used during the Spanish Inquisition and in medieval Europe. The victim was hoisted by their arms tied behind their back, causing dislocation, severe shoulder pain, dislocation, and long-term damage to arms and shoulders. 24. Chinese water torture. 
allegedly ancient China, though its widespread use is debated. The victim was restrained and a single drop of water was allowed to fall repeatedly on the same spot on their forehead, psychological torment causing anxiety, fear, and potential insanity. The repetitive nature can lead to intense distress and mental breakdown with minimal physical harm. 25. Pair of Anguish Allegedly medieval period, though historical use is uncertain, a pear-shaped instrument was inserted into the victim's mouth, vagina, or anus, and then expanded by turning a screw. Severe internal injuries, intense pain, and risk of infection and death from internal bleeding or septic shock. 26. Pillory. Medieval and early modern Europe for public humiliation and punishment. The victim's head and hands were locked into a wooden frame, and they were displayed in a public place. Humiliation, discomfort, exposure to the elements, and potential injury from public abuse. Prolonged use could cause physical strain and injury.